Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another record to play for you. Today record is Smith Family Robertson from 1968. So let's get started.
sorry a lot of things didn't work out. I know. It would have been much better if we just stayed in Switzerland. You can't be sure of it. Not with Napoleon Bonaparte trying to grab up more and more. By now, Fritz and Ernst might both be in the war. Why, why, maybe even you. Still, it might have been better to face things than to try to run away. Is it running away to try to find a new life in a new colony? To, to try to give your sons a chance to live and be free? It's a big land, New Guinea. For a hundred years, there'll be new colonies. Even if we're a few months late getting there, it won't matter. And we're not too badly off. We're alive. We have our family together, food to eat. Even a tent to keep off the rain if we have sense enough to use it. The next day, Mother and I stayed on the island while Fritz and Ernst and Father went back to the ship. They planned to salvage anything they could. Ropes and rigging, hardware, food, and the cow and chickens and ducks trapped in the hold. While they were aboard the ship, Ernst had an idea. I still think we could make her sail again. If she sits like this at high tide, you'll never get off of the rocks in a million years. Uh, let's get down to the hold and see about... Look! A ship! A ship! Ahoy there! Ship ahoy! I think they see us. Let me get the spyglass and make sure. Yes, they do see us. They're turning. Wait. Looks like the pirate ship that chases into the storm. Yes, it is. Better keep down, boys. And I deliberately tried to get their attention. Let's get the ship's cannon. At least we can argue the point with them. You know how to fire it? I think so. I'll get a keg of powder. Fritz, you see if you can find any kind of rags we can use for wadding. And hurry, the pirate ship's getting closer. That was close. Too close. Let's try and raise this cannon and get the range. We'll have time for only one shot, so we've got to make it count. Their next shot will hit us. Wait. Those rides Fritz brought. They're the ship's flags. Father, we need help with the cannon. Where are you going? I think this will be more effective than our cannon. <laughs> hit the prow. It's working! Look! Yes, they're sailing away. They're turning tail and running. What did you do? That orange flag with a black ball in the middle. That's a quarantine flag. It means that Black Death's on board. It scared them off. We're safe. We're not for long. They know where we are. They'll be back someday, and we mustn't forget it. While my father and brothers were having a dull old time on the ship with the chickens and ducks, I was having an adventure of my own with elephants and tigers. It started when I went to explore the jungle near the beach. I was walking through the brush and came to a clearing. And in the clearing, guess what I saw? A baby elephant. Gee, you'd sure make a fine pet, little fella. Would you like to come live with us? We could be friends. What's the matter, little fella? Don't you know I wouldn't hurt you? Now, if I can just get this rope around your leg, we can be friends. Easy now. There! Now I'll lead you back to the beach and the tiger. You get out of here! Come on, get away! Get out of here! Get her! Come here, boys, go get him! The two dogs leaped at the tiger. The big cat battled them with his tie. But the dogs got it in and out. The baby elephant was scared to death, but it couldn't move because I had it last soon. The tiger tried to shake his big teeth into the dog's neck, but they wouldn't let him get close enough. Finally, the tiger turned tail and ran into the jungle as my mother came up from the beach. Francis, oh, Francis, why did you leave the beach? They sure showed that old tiger who's back. You could have been killed wandering off that way. Well, don't you have anything to say? I'm sorry I did it, but, but, but what? Can I still keep the baby elephant anyhow? Oh, Francis. The baby elephant came in handy when we built the treehouse. Father decided we might be on the island quite a while, and we should have a safe place to live. So he built the most wonderful treehouse in the world, and the elephant helped carry wood. When it was finished and Father showed it to Mother, there were tears in her eyes. She was so proud of us. Now, here on the bottom level is the kitchen. And please note the running water. Ernst designed the split bamboo pipe that carry the water from the stream to this large barrel. The extra water works as cooler, and additional water is drained to your adobe-type stove to keep us supplied with hot water. It's just wonderful, Ernst. Just like home. And see the thing? It's a shell of a big turtle. Now, come to the living room. It's right up these steps. Oh, well, it's more beautiful than I could have imagined. We could 
put in lots of shelves for books and utensils. And the hanging pots of flowers were Fritz's idea. And where does that rope ladder lead? To our room. We took the bunks from the ships and built them right into the branches of the tree. Everything's good and solid. And we designed Francis' bed so we can't fall out. And look at the stairway. Well, where does that lead? To our bedroom. All right, come with me. Now, we built you a stairway because we didn't think you could climb a rope ladder as easily as the boys. <laughs> well, here it is. I can't believe it. Sea chests under the bed to keep our clothes in. Drapes from the captain's cabin. What's that rope by the bed? We'll pull it and see. Oh. The whole ceiling lifts so the sunlight can fill the room. But if it rains, you lower the roof and keep snug and dry. Everything went in every direction. It was great. We made bombs 
by taking coconut shells and filling them with gunpowder and gravel. Then we sealed the shells together with wax. When we lit the fuses and threw the coconuts... Pirates coming! Everybody to port! Pirates! It wasn't really pirates. It was just me. Father was so relieved, he forgot to be angry with me. That night, a big old tiger fell into one of my pits. We covered the pit with straw. And if a pirate comes close, he better look out, or that old tiger will eat him up. Well, we'd all worked pretty hard to build the fort and dig the pits and everything. So, Father decided we should have a celebration. It was like a holiday, just like we used to have in Switzerland. <laughs> Feature race of the day. In first position, riding his baby elephant, is Francis. Next, to stride the ostrich, is Ernst. Riding the rare striped zebra, is Roberta. And on the outside, aboard the gray donkey, is Fritz. Hey, don't forget the dog. Huh? Oh, yes. And as a special contestant, riding our dog Turk and wearing a red hat, is Francis Monkey. And serving as our official starter today, the loveliest lady of the canton. Thank you, sir. Everybody ready? On your marks, get set, go! And it's Ernest Ray and Rusty taking the lead to the elephant heading in the wrong direction. And the elephant is now running in the right direction, but the donkey seems to be lost in the woods. Oh, here it comes now with Fritz aboard. <laughs> hey, Fritz, you're facing the wrong way. Don't you know which direction is front? And the ostrich is rounding the first turn and heading for home. No, you stupid bird. Around the second pylon over there. The elephant is taking time out from the race to drink in the stream. Don't drink now. Wait until the race is over. The zebra is now in the lead. In fact, Roberta seems to be the only one in the race. I claim foul. The elephant just sprayed me with water. Serves you right for getting so close. Now the ostrich is now running under a severe handicap as his rider is soaking wet. <laughs> and the zebra is only a few lengths ahead of Turk and the monkey. Come on, Roberta! Must you women always stick together? Ah, oh, it's a driving finish. And here comes Fritz and the donkey out of the woods and they're gaining on the zebra. It's a close finish. The judges will have to hold a consultation and decide on the winner. Roberta, you can stop your mouth now. I think you've won the race. <laughs> She's right, coming toward the beach in dugouts, the pirates. All right, everybody up the hill. I'll get the muskets. Do you remember your orders? Yes. 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 Then get yes. started. We had no sooner taken our positions at the hilltop fort than the pirates landed and began running up the beach. As Koala and the pirates crossed the footbridge over the stream, Fritz gave a sudden tug on a concealed rope. The rope pulled out a support, and the bridge collapsed, dropping the pirates in the water. Well, our first booby trap was successful. Yes, but it won't hold them back very long. Maybe this will. Those arrows worked fine. I think it stopped a few of them. Some of the pirates struck out, but most of them came charging forward right toward my tiger pit. I don't know what I'm going to I think we're ready to set off the very mines now. The idea is to time them so that the charge goes off just as the pirates reach the mines. Now, let's see what happens. Perfectly timed. Now, let's light numbers two and four. Yes, sir. We'll teach those pirates a thing or two. They don't give up very easily.
Don't if I would go down. They wouldn't bargain with us if they thought they could beat us. Find boy down here. Koala take boy home. Get plenty money. Nobody hurt. You hear? I think he's stalling. I see some of his men creeping up along the sides. Yes, I see them. You make Koala fight long time. He win. Then you die. And Koala take boy all the same. It's true, though. You can't possibly stand him off forever. Don't you worry about that. You don't look like a boy anymore. Don't you know what would happen if you gave yourself up now? Don't you know what might happen to all of you if I don't? Nothing's going to happen to anybody. They've probably had enough already. My pirate alarm! They're coming up the cliff! Get ready to defend the cliffside while your mother and I stay here. Let's let them have some coconut bar. <laughs> So that was the Smith Family Robertson from 1968. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.